Hello and welcome to Light Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the Through Night. This is the Catapult Mini version 2. It's an 18350 powered everyday carry thrower flashlight. You can find these on Amazon, selling currently for $39.99. There may be a coupon bringing the price down. Uh, I think I've seen it as low as 35 so not bad. A really cool upgrade to the original. I do have the original. We're going to show you side by side to give you an idea of what's changed. So here's the box comes in. Pretty basic. Did change the head design, as you can see. And it's available in three colors, black, desert tan, gray, and of course, I believe cool white, neutral white. Now, at the making of this video, they didn't have any neutral white available, so I had to go with the cool white. Okay, took everything out of the box. Let's show you what you get. All right, we get the star of the show. The new Through Night V2 Mini. Now, the cool thing is I got the uh, the desert tan, which is a pretty awesome color. I like it. I don't have any in this color, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, in the box, you also get a lanyard, a couple extra O-rings, and a charge jacket there, an extra charge jacket, because those do come off. And then we have a charging cable, of course, USB to Type-C, very basic. And we have the instructions, which I opened up to make this real easy. I'm just gonna kinda raise the tripod up a little bit, and then we're gonna look at this real quick. So, for posterity, through night, guiding you through the night, there's the illustration of the light there, Catapult Mini V2. Nice. Up here we have a little blurb. They adapted the S SFT40 LED, which isn't the same as the Sofern, um, which I'm going to show you, the IF22A. Uh, these are the same LED, which I thought was neat. Uh, this is an output of 1108 lumens. Nice. Distance of 515 meters. There's some technical parameters, which I'll go over. You can see it's got the general mode. You got turbo, which throttles down. You have high, medium, low, firefly, and strobe. And then SOS Beacon, they don't show that there, but you have extras, in case I forget to mention that. I should be able to demo that. Uh, we have a IPX8 rated, uh, drop resistance. Here's your capacitor indicator, which is nice. It has blue, purple, red, and off. <laughs> if you see purple, uh, just charge it, because, yeah, from blue to purple, it's like 20% there. Yeah, you want to make sure to do that. And, of course, running it. Um, there's the paragraph, you got uh, turning on and off, changing mode, special mode, memory function, lockout, which is very nice. I'm um, charging it, and it's got a breathing LED indicator, which I think is cool, so you can find it in the dark, because it's kind of a small light. Nice idea to add that feature. So there you go, and of course, this has other languages as well, so we'll set that aside. All right, let's talk about the through night. Catapult Mini V2. Now, in this video, I do uh, demo it outside pretty much by itself. I don't have any competitors. I could have uh, demoed it with the original um, Catapult, but I figured uh, just doing it by itself was nice. So here's the original, and they changed the optics. As you can see, they went with a smooth reflector versus the TIR optics. I will let you know that uh, I'm happy with the V2. I like the spill it produces versus the this has like a softer spill and hardly any more of a spot. Um, this still has retains a spot, but also gives you some spill, so you can see some edge to edge, vi edge to edge vision compared to the original. So just something to throw by us. So let's go ahead and go over dimensions. I'm going to bring this on down. All right, because it's a little guy, as you can see. I got small hands, and it's a small flashlight. <laughs> eighteen for fifty powered. You know, it's a small half of an eighteen six fifty, pretty much. Um, so there you go. Um, so yeah, let's go over some dimensions. We have a length of 3 and 3 eighths of an inch, or 86 millimeters. We have a head diameter of 1 and a half inches, or 38 millimeters. And we have a tail diameter of 1 inch, or 26 millimeters. Kind of interesting how they did the tail. The original has a smooth barrel at the bottom. Of course, they're not magnetic. No magnets in the bottom. Um, I do like how they added... Uh, the linear point like that. So well, it's kind of similar, but it looks like easier to get to than the original. But yep, there you are. So little things I'll show you here and there. Um, so weight is around 90 grams without the battery. So nice. Let's see if we can do a size comparison without it rolling away. It's possible. <laughs> I'll bring this up. Uh, so yeah, we have a typical 18650 light. 
everybody carry. Here's the this is the TC15 version 3. I like this light. I find myself using it quite a bit around the house. Uh, but for size comparison, this works pretty good. I got a battery here. Let's see, a flat top 18650. Give you an idea. And then we have a 21700 flat top battery. There you are. And then I have a Sofern. This is the IF22A. Different category light. I mean, it's definitely a thrower as well. Um, but it's 21700 powered. There you go. It's a bigger, bigger profile. As you can see, these lights are pretty big compared to the little mini. Um, but there you are. So, cool. It's always nice to see. And of course, I always have a deck of cards handy. I got Iron Man. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can do it like no one can. <laughs> he loves through nights from, can you guess it, China land. He's Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's get on to features. So we are going to go down here. And we're going features of the V2. Yeah. So right away, I do like this color. <laughs> I also like the design. They added more fins in the original. The original has like three cuts. This one has like four, it looks like. Yeah. Um, similar metal switches. Uh, I like the more aggressive uh, knurling on the body versus the original. It's just kind of a softer. Um, I like the way the head design is angled versus just kind of cut off like that because of the, the different optics. Uh, just it looks a more finished product to me. Uh, I like the looks. Definitely nice. And of course, they both tail stand like champs. Um, and again, I can just kind of flip these around to give you an idea. There you are. Okay, cool. Let's look at the features on this bad boy. So right away, we have a toughened glass lens with anti-reflective coatings. Kind of see that purplish hue to it. A deep, smooth reflector. Like I said, I really enjoyed the beam pattern that's produced. Nice throw, you'll see in the video attached. And of course, uh, you have some spill because of the new reflector, or new reflector design. The smooth reflector design um, really helps uh, versus the TIR optics. This really throws. Uh, this actually throws further than the V2, but uh, it definitely does not have the spill. And spill's nice uh, when you're outside and you want to see edge to edge vision. So, definitely. And of course, I got fingerprints. So, I got my little cloth here. Clean it off. There you go. And looking down in there, we can see the LED is that uh, luminous SFT40 uh, in cool white. If I get it down there, you can see it. There you go. Cool. And of course, it's got a nice little bezel. Not really thick uh, to, pr to help protect the lens, the glass. Uh, this one looks like it has more of a protection to it. Now, they still sell this one. Um, so if you're wondering, uh, this is $39.99 at Amazon, like I mentioned, and may have a coupon. This one here, I think, was on sale. Uh, this one was around $35.99 at the time of this video, so I'll give you an idea. Some people still prefer the regular Mini, so they're still uh, producing it. All right, cool. So more features. It has your typical uh, 6061 aircraft-grade aluminum body with Type 3 hard anodized finish. It's like pretty much self-explanatory, but I say it every time so you guys know. Uh, we have the charging port right here. Um, I think I noticed on my charger around 550 milliamps when I was charging this battery. So expect, expect a charge uh, time of two hours. And when you're charging this light, all modes are available. Yes, uh, Firefly all the way up to Turbo. So that that was pretty interesting. Uh, most flashlights just have low or medium, but this one here uh, gave you access to all the modes, which I was pretty surprised. Uh, it's definitely not going to charge if you're in turbo or high uh, while it's charging because I noticed the charge rate did not increase when I increased the uh, output of the flashlight. <laughs> so just so you know, um, on the back here, of course, the non-magnetic, non IPX8 waterproof, lanyard hook point, nice one and a half meter drop resistance. Our battery is an 18350, like I mentioned. It's a protected button top. You can buy these from their site. I think it can also use a standard button top. This one has like negative and positive on one end, but not required for this flashlight. It's just what's bundled with this. So you could definitely use another protected uh, 1850, 1850 button top. It'll work. Another nice feature, look at the barrel thickness. Love it. It's just absolutely a beast. Um, that it just it screams quality when they spend the uh, money on extra aluminum. <laughs> I like that. But there you go. So there's our battery. 
Come over that. Um, so a metal side switch with battery status LED in it. You can see blue means good. Has a mode memory. Remembers uh, low, medium, and high. Of course, turning it on. Single click, turning it off. Single click. Press and hold. Goes to Firefly mode. Okay, pretty basic. Another one is press and hold until the light goes out. And now we have the breathing light, as you can see there. So our flashlight finder. It also works in lockout mode. I noticed if you try to turn the light on in lockout mode, it does engage the breathing mode. So something to know. Um, so just click it to turn that breathing mode off. Okay. So yeah, we'll turn it on. And then, of course, press and hold the cycle. It's one of those deals. And uh, yeah, you can see I got fingerprints. Let's wipe those up. <laughs> got to make it look really good. Yeah, this one's got a really high polish reflector there. Nice. So yeah, we got our three modes here, low, medium, high. There you are. See, pretty basic. And of course, going to turbo. Oh, no, just bring this in for color correction. Turbo is from off or on. Uh, double click. So now we're on turbo. Heating up my hand. Nice. Um, so that's really handy. And of course, same with the strobe. If you can't handle flashing images, look away. Triple click. So we're in strobe mode from on or off. And then, of course, you can press and hold and change modes. So now we got the beacon mode. Press and hold. And now we have SOS mode. Press and hold. Now we're back to strobe mode. Yeah, kind of nice. You got three modes there. And they're hidden. Uh, lockout mode, one, two, three, four. Three confirmation flashes, and now we're in lockout. If we press this, uh, there's no like red dummy light. It just goes into breathing mode, as you can see there, with a single click. Light won't turn on, but it goes into this breathing mode indicator. I'm trying to see, make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, neat. So, yeah, let's head out to the garage where I took some pictures of this in action, and also uh, the video uh, where I'm using distances between. Uh, 30 feet uh, up to 100 meters. Uh, definitely does a great job. So let's go ahead and go to the garage. Okay, here I am, 15 feet away from the garage door. Uh, lights on turbo. This is 1,108 lumens. Expected to run about 80 seconds before it throttles down to 358 lumens. Running the remainder of that little battery down uh, in an hour. A throw here is 515 meters, except you can't see that with 15 feet. <laughs> it's just pretty intense. Next picture, it's high. This is 331 lumens. Expect a run time of one hour. Um, high mode, I didn't find myself using high too much, just turbo or mainly on low settings, but a high is there for some people who need it. Now we have medium, more usable mode, 160 lumens, good for walking. This is a run time of two and three quarter hours. Now we're on low, this is 70 lumens. Still a great setting to have around the house. This has a runtime of six and a half hours. And now our final picture, this is Firefly. This is six tenths of a lumen, which shows up really nice. And I actually use this to walk around the garage when our lights were off and expect a runtime of 85 hours. Not bad. So now we're gonna head outside and I'll show you that demo video, about a minute. Then we'll come back to the bench and we'll do a little demo uh, with this light versus the original. Okay, let's go check out that video. Okay, I'm outside with the Through Night Catapult Mini version 2. Go right to turbo, 1100 lumens at a 515 meter throw distance. Archway there is 30 feet away. Tree behind it is 50 feet away. Tree to the left here is 40 feet away. Archway, tree. And then downrange, the tree there is 100 feet away. That bigger tree. Stop sign down there is 100 meters. And then going between the archway and the tree 100 feet, there's a gazebo down there, and there's two pine trees. And in person, this light's definitely lighting it up. Not sure if it is on the video. Hopefully it is. Yeah, it's, this is a bright flashlight. As you can see, lighting up these trees, no problem. Back to 100 feet, down range, and then here's our sidewalk. And we're done. There you go, that video was awesome. Yeah, it really rocks. It's an awesome flashlight out there. I love it for such a compact little carry flashlight. So let's go ahead uh, and do a desktop demo. I'm probably gonna enter Firefly mode for each of these because low is a lot different. The original, uh, it's low is 21 lumens. It'll run for 12 hours. Uh, it's turbo is 680 lumens. 
with a throw of 598 meters, if you're wondering. Um, its high was 235 lumens for 80 minutes. Its medium is 96 lumens for four hours. And of course, its firefly is a half lumen for 106 hours. So it's kind of interesting, the different trade-offs. So let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll engage the firefly mode. So I just press and hold. Both should be on. There we go. Just to give an idea, of course, then I'll cycle the uh, V2. And then we'll show you the RFI, because, of course, I'm a radio channel for portable radios. And I always like to show the RFI factor of these lights. So let's go ahead and turn off the mains. And then we'll see what these little guys can do. All right, so I'm going to... Hopefully you get an idea of the beam pattern. Right now they're just sitting on the desk. As you can see, the V2 has a cone-shaped light, and the original does not. <laughs> just has nothing there, pretty much, but it's still lit. There you go, see? Interesting. Okay, so we'll bring them up. Uh, definitely, you see the edge vision there, so I bring it in. The original, just a little softened edge. There you go, goes into focus. Here's the V2 coming in. And you get that nice edge-to-edge -edge vision. Hopefully you can make that out in this video with the Firefly mode. There you go. So that's pretty, that's why I like it. That spill is nice. And versus the original, not much spill at all. Just more of a hot spot. And that's it. So yeah, you can see why the V2 is going to be a popular light. Definitely. In comparison. All right. So there's the original in case you do want to pick one up. I'll have links below to this one as well. Go ahead and turn that off. All right, so the original, I'm going to go ahead and aim it at the ceiling. And we'll cycle it through the modes. So we'll turn it down low, medium, high, and then turbo. No problem lighting up the room. Very nice. Uh, don't expect to run it forever at this level of 1,100 lumens, but not bad. So RFI, yeah, so I always like to, well, first I'll show you the desk with the different settings. Turbo and Firefly, and you get an idea. It is cool white. Um, it's not too bad though. Looks good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to low. Set this down. Let's bring a radio in. Yeah, I can do this in the dark, which is nice. Good little light. Turn it on. Right. Um. Do you, do you want me to stop? So yeah, RFI. I there's no RFI in any mode except for the Firefly mode. So if I go through all the modes, the tank. I can put it by the antenna, right next to the antenna here on the radio. So no RFI in those modes, but if I go to Firefly, I go close, putting it next to the antenna, now I'm about a foot away, about a foot and a half away, no RFI up here. If I get close, you have to be like right next to the antenna, so not a big deal. There you go. Cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn lights back on, and we'll do final thoughts on the Catapult Mini v2 yeah Get my other light on rock on and it rolls away i <laughs> love it come on little mini stay put all right i'm gonna go ahead and zoom it back down we'll bring in the iron man he's the man with the master plan <laughs> love it yeah that's it's my trademark <laughs> love that deck of cards um so yeah V2, yeah, great upgrade. Uh, I'm really impressed uh, with what they did with the uh, upgrade here. Um, happy with the extra metal here, um, and I like the reflector. As you saw, it made a big difference for that beam pattern. Uh, it just depends on what you like. If you like more of a spot with no spill, uh, just for pinpointing something, uh, you might want the original. But if you want that extra spill when you're outside walking, uh, this is more handy uh, at everyday light. Um, I find that uh, this would be more useful around the house. Uh, versus just trying to spot something, uh, this would be the way to go with the V2. Like I said, costs are similar, because I did see this on sale, and it put the price around the same. So it depended on what you prefer, and of course they had the black available at the time of this video, as well as this Desert Tan. Now for some reason the Desert Tan was more money on their website, versus going on Amazon. Amazon had the uh, black and this Desert Tan at the same price. 
So there you go. There are the differences. There you go. Same charging ports. Uh, they use the same battery. So there you go. And you can get the batteries too online. Not a hard thing to come by. So that's a good thing. Replaceable batteries is a plus for me. So there it is, the V2. Definitely gets a thumbs up. If you're a Through Night fan, get one, add to your collection. You're going to love it. Absolute great flashlight. <laughs> I love it myself. Uh, so Through Night products, if you want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews and comparisons. And of course, three, comment below what you think of the V2. Is that something you'd want uh, in your arsenal? Are you just a man with or a lady who likes the 18650s? Or are you into the 21700 throwers? Um, just depends on what you want to carry. This is very convenient and very lightweight compared to these two options. Um, just something to think about if you want a thrower type flashlight. Just depends on your needs. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in my next video.